So what brought you to SCAD? Uh, I was um, doing a very limited search. Um, I had been um, a dean at another institution before I got here for six years, and I was just looking for some change, some new things, and I, um, SCAD was all new to me. The more I found out about it, the more I was like, wow. I mean, I'm, I'm not from the South, so I'm originally from Alaska. So and I was in Washington State, I was uh, in Iowa, and then I was in the Philly area before I came here. So I've been a, I've been a dean for about 15 years now, but new to SCAD, and um, I actually had some some great opportunities. And when I came down here and interviewed and met with President Wallace, I just loved it. I loved what they had to say about it. I loved the students I met with and the staff and the faculty, and uh, it just felt like the right fit. I lo- I really love the mission and the goals, and it really lines up with what I believe. So, how are you liking it so far? I mean, how long have you been here? Uh, I've been here for about six weeks, okay. and I really like it. Um, the people have been great. I love the history. Savannah is awesome. I mean, just what's here in the area. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, getting, I'm transitioning to the heat. <laughs> That's going to be a challenge for me. Um, I feel like I've been sweating for about six weeks. But beyond that, uh, all good. Oh, good. I just, I've been really been meeting. I got to meet like about 500 first year students in the summer swarm program, and it was a blast. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Have you had you been to Savannah before, or is this your only one I interviewed? All right. So I'd never been to Savannah. So this is a this has been a whole new adventure. So it's been good though. I just never realized how much of a tourist place it was. And uh, have you taken one of the tours? I have not yet. I'm waiting for my kids to get here. I have two kids. Okay. And they come up, they show up this weekend. So I'm, I'm waiting for the ghost tour, the trolley tour. I want to do all that with my kids. Right. So. How did the summer swarm go? The summer swarm was great. It was really great. Um, uh, you know, it was great seeing all the students here, getting them acclimated, meeting with all the parents. Uh, I think, I mean, the students, I think, really enjoyed it. Got lots of great feedback from parents and students about Swarm. You know, I'm really looking forward to uh, being more of a part of that as time goes on. So. Okay. Uh, why might a student need to speak with you? What do you do as the Dean of Students? It's a good question. Um, for me, I'm really a liaison between students, parents, and administration. So, I mean, for me, I'm here as a resource. I mean, I really am. I mean, I oversee several areas, but in the big picture, I see myself as um, a resource for students, faculty, and staff, and how I can help them, and whether or not they're having a tough time getting an answer, see if I can help them with that. Um, Sometimes parents call me because they're concerned, and I kind of ease their mind and track down their son or daughter sometimes. I mean, I oversee student involvement and dining services, student conduct, um, and uh, student involvement in this, like the student center area. Um, and I oversee those areas, but really it's more about the students. It's really more about making connections. That's why you'll see me at a lot of events. You'll see me all over the place and meeting with first-year students and returners. And I'm going to actually do a, a, every Thursday from one third, I'm going to pl- put a plug in. Okay. Every Thursday at the student center, every Thursday from one thirty to two thirty at the student center, I'm going to have a like uh, come meet the dean, and if you show up, I'll buy you a beverage and just any questions you might have, just to get to know me. So, and I'm going to do that all year. So, just trying to do a lot of outreach and really get to know students and get to know this culture. Did you come from an art background? No. Did other institutions? No. no, I'm a I'm a science, an environmental science background. It is a big change. Though. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, I don't, you've only been here for six weeks, I guess, but uh, out of those groups that you oversee that you just mentioned, do you foresee making any changes or adding things to them? Or You know, I, I, think, I think it's too early to say. You know, I think that we're always striving here to, to do a better job you know, and to and provide the best services we can. So I do think there will be certainly changes down the road but you know, six weeks in <laughs> hard for me to say what that will be or what it looks like but I am very driven to know that I mean I want to make a difference here and I want to make it better for students uh, I've heard that you'll be advising the United Student Forum this year I will be okay. yeah, you got that hot off the press 
that's brand new. I mean, that just that was a decision made to, by me just probably three or four days ago. Uh, I don't think it's been done in the past, so I'm just wondering what you hope to accomplish in that, or why you decided to do it. You know. Honestly, where I've been before, at each institution, I've had that opportunity to work with like a student government type of situation. I mean, a student oversight scene type and advise those groups. And it's, it's very fulfilling for me to, to have that interaction, to be able to help them with the issues. And I feel like I'm in a position as a dean of students that not only can I listen, but hopefully I can make some change for them. You know? and I love advising student groups. And uh, the more I get to know the people on USF, more, it's, I think it's really going to be a good time. Like, I'm looking forward to it. And I really enjoy the advising piece. I mean, I kind of student interaction you get is just outstanding. Like, you know, and I'm hoping that they feel that this is really going to be a good thing. Like, I'm hoping that because of my, my position and everything else, that it'll empower them even more. Uh, do you ever see Atlanta, or do they have their own? They have their own. Yeah, they haven't given me that yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess just as a dean in general, since you've only been here for uh, six weeks, what do you find most challenging about the job of being obviously? Uh, the most challenging. I think right now it's just been really, because, because SCAD is so spread out, you know, really getting out there and meeting people. I mean, right before I met with you, I was over at institutional research, I was over at graduate studies, I was over at alumni development. I was like, and I'm really being intentional about getting out, you know, and I'm meeting with the admissions area and, and uh, getting out of this building, getting out of York and, and meeting people because it's so important in this type of a role of student, dean of students to be able to know and network and know the different areas, even ones I don't supervise, but just the ones that, so if I make a phone call or a student comes in or there's an issue, I've already have a connection, you know. Oh, Steve, how are you? You know, and um, I just believe that's how we work at SCAD. It's more about collaboration and working together and, and student success. So, I mean, you know, I, I just know it's, I just, I value that, making those connections. So, I mean, literally every day I'm out meeting another department and getting out of here, going upstairs, meeting everybody in York. Half the time they think I'm, you know, I'm always smiling. I love what I do. They're like, and I'm like, I love this stuff. It's in my heart. You know, I've been doing it a long time. So, At your other institutions, were they uh, an urban campus that's so spread out like ours, or was it more of a... Um, not spread out like this, and not more of kind of the... Not urban. It was more uh, rural. I was in rural Iowa, and, and the suburbs of Philadelphia. So... I like this city, though. I mean, I, I'm, I'm actually living downtown right now for the next couple of months. Uh, but I'm, I'm buying a house out on the islands. But um, it's been nice being downtown for, and walking to work and being here for the first couple of months just to feel like, what it, just to get a sense of what it's like to, to live downtown and, um, and get to know my way around because there's a lot of one ways. Get to know the flooding and the rains and all those things which is like wow I mean it seems like it always like serene at 5.30 too I'm like, right when I'm getting off work and getting out of here it seems like a torrential downpour at 5.30 that's a loss and now that you're in the south you want to experience all the seasons that you might have experienced before so that's another question to make. yeah well I mean I love golf I'm a big runner um, I love baseball and um, so I think I mean, I like water sports, and I mean, I do like the beach and that type of thing. So I'm, I'm excited. I think I'll be really, really excited in October, November, December, or January. <laughs> but it cools down a little bit because it's hot for me. I mean, it's humid. I'm sweating every day. and um, But I think when it's those months, I'm really going to like it. I mean, I just know it'll be a little cooler, my kind of weather. I can go running, and I'll enjoy that. Because I'm running at night now, and you know, I'm running about five miles, and it's hot. I'm just drenched. Uh, you mentioned baseball this time. What did you think of Scott when you found out they had sports? I love, I was, well, I mean, when I was interviewing here, and I was looking at SCAD as, as, as an option, I did, I got on, and I didn't even know they had sports. I mean, I really didn't. And then when they have, they have great sports. 
like fantastic sports. Like when I was going through and looking at all the sports, I was like, wow. You know, and, uh, and, ba- and having coached baseball for the last 16 years, you know, of course I was like, you know, I was a little more intrigued by the baseball. <laughs> and they've got a great baseball program too, so. Will you do anything to, I don't know, help the athletics department try to get students to go attend these games? Because I don't think students really attend them now, unless you're friends with people on the team. <laughs> Well, my hope, my hope is that I gain a lot of visibility and that students know who I am and know I'm here and know I care. And I'm hoping with that to build a stronger sense of community here because we're so spread out, you know, and there's only, you know, 3,000 students out of all of our enrollment or live on campus. But I want to, I'm the dean of students for everyone, for all students here. So uh, my hope is to, to develop uh, a network with students and, you know, I mean, a situation where I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go to the game or I'm going to go to the equestrian or I'm going to go, you know, hopefully that'll have some following, you know. Because I know generally, I, mean, I don't know what our percentage of students who are athletes here, but it's not, I mean, out of 10,000 students, it's, it's probably not significant would be my guess. You know, I mean, a lot of great things here, but, you know, but I think sports are, you know, it's, it's an addition, it's an opportunity to, you know, and they got some great athletes here. I'm always surprised. I'm anxious to go out and see some of the sports here. And, you know, whether I'm watching softball or baseball or, you know, or I'm going out um, you know, watching golf or, you know, anything. Like, I'm, I'm, I, I do like sports, so I won't be afraid to get out and root them on. Are you an artist of any kind? What's that? Are you an artist of any kind? Not even close. Play a musical instrument or anything? I wish I did. I'm actually going to start playing the guitar. Okay. I love music, though. I, mean, I love, love music. And uh, I love to dance. So, you, I mean, and that's... Um, so, music and dancing is probably as close as I get to any sort of... Uh... <laughs> okay. Um, we always have to ask an art question. Sure. So, uh, what's your favorite color? My favorite color... That would be red. Okay. Any particular reason? You just like it? You know, red, to me, it's always... I'll tell you, I'll, I'll give you a really good answer, actually, because I grew up on the ocean. I grew up in, on an island called Sitka, Alaska. 14 miles of road, uh, and literally on the ocean. And I grew up um, watching the sunset over the ocean almost my entire youth. And there was always that red reflection off the sun and the mountains and the water that looked awesome. And I, and I just kind of grew with me. All right. <laughs> uh, well, that's all I have. Do you want to have anything else you want to say? Um, I don't think so. I look pretty good. I mean, I have two kids. I have a boy and a girl, Bailey and Riley. Um, I have a dog, Shelty. A little dog named Missy. Uh, that's my family. Okay. And you'll be living on the island. <laughs> and I will. I'll be living on the island very shortly. Right. Hopefully in the next couple weeks. So. It's great being here, though. I mean, I just, I really, really know this was the right fit. It just feels good. Just every, all, every time I meet with students, I just, it reinforces it to me that this is the place that, that I can make a difference.